good evening. I'm Devon Singh, and I'm doing an interview tonight with the mother of a so-called gang leader who wants to share her side of the story. Uh, thanks for taking the time out to do this interview. So, you're here to tell your side of the story, which relates to your son Eugene. As everyone knows, he's some kind of gang leader, kingpin, some sort of big fish. Where you get all them names from? Um, from the head of news, Jeffrey Valentine. Hmm, I see. Well, I will deal with that Valentine for calling my son all kind of names. Moms, if the cap fits, then you have to wear it. Oh, really, Mr. Man? Like you want our next cut ass? No, 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 thank you, no, thank you. So, tell us why it is your son is not the person everyone keeps saying he is. My son is a respectable young man. Just the other day, he got a scholarship for one of the young men who lost his life. May God rest his soul. Ma'am, currently the TT police force is looking for your son as they believe he is some sort of big fish. From who do you get that report from? Again, from, from, from Jeffrey Valentine because he's the one who's pushing to have the gang leaders removed from the streets. That Valentine needs a rude awakening. I just don't like how he calling my son all kind of names. Now, nah, I got deal with him. Today marks a historical day when bandits and gangsters, etc., etc., become smarter and more educated. When it was suggested that we would allow these criminals, no pun intended, to take part in the CAPE examination, trust me, I was like, WTF, LMAO, and LOL, but I would like to say proudly, JWD, job well done. I would like to now let our very own police commissioner, who is also a director within the Ministry of Education, say a few words. Thank you, Ms. Ali. I must say this turnout is much more than I anticipated. And this is because we believe in changing the way bandits and company think. With a better education now, bandits, etc., can do much better jobs. They can impersonate a minister, become a CEO, drive maxis, taxis, learn to cash, and do so many other things. Now let's get the ceremony started. I would like to call up Mr. Carter. Congratulations. Thanks, sir. Real thanks. You're welcome. Mr. Devon Singh. Congratulations. Um, excuse. Just for the camera. Just for the camera. All right. Congratulations. Mr. Eugene Francis. What happened, Eugene? Congratulations and a job well done. Um, Mr. Francis, didn't you have a speech or something? Yes, I do. Okay. Well. Have your way. Really seen. First off, I'd like to thank the most high King Selassie Ija Rastafari. What well, talk my mother for always being there for me. For beating up the bully after I I mean, he stole my lunch money. I want to thank the pastor for understanding that he too has to pay tithes and offering. We well, thank the Minister of Education. Don't worry, soon your son will turn up. You know, he went missing. <laughs> Finally, I want to thank Biggie. I want to thank Tupac. I want to thank the man they called 50 Cents. Played a major role in my life. Commissioner, have you seen my purse? I've been looking all over for it and I cannot find it anywhere. No, I haven't. But. But I go and check for mine. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all the graduates. 